How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your external gaming monitor to your gaming laptop or any laptop for that matter. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the video. First thing I do want to get out of the way, a lot of you guys will have questions because I've mentioned it before on stream and I've talked about it in past videos. Yes, connecting an external monitor to your laptop, especially if you have Nvidia, will give your laptop a slight FPS boost in games. In lighter titles such as Fortnite and Valorant, it's like 20 to 30 FPS at best and sometimes unnoticeable at worst, but it is there. Anyways guys, let's jump right into it. Very first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to identify what connection port your laptop has. My Acer Nitro 5, for example, has an HDMI 2.0 port and a Type-C port. Don't get this confused with a Thunderbolt 3. They look exactly the same. Type-C you cannot connect a display to. A Thunderbolt 3 you can. There's a little lightning mark right there on Thunderbolt 3s, but this is just a normal Type-C. So HDMI is going to be our port of choice for today's video. Now that you know what port your laptop has, make sure you buy a monitor that supports the same port. I don't know if that actually shows it or not. Yes, it has HDMI. So right here we have the Dell S2522HG. It's a 25 inch 1080p 240Hz gaming monitor. Way overkill for my laptop. However, I have a better PC over there. Here are all of the ports it has. It has two HDMI ports, one display port, one USB B in, as well as three USB. So it has a hub. It also has headphone audio through the USB, a super speed USB 3.2 Gen 2, and then a Kensington lock. So now that we know that we have two HDMI ports with R2.0 on here, we're going to go ahead and get a HDMI 2.0 cable. You can tell it's HDMI 2.0 if it says 4K 60Hz, because that is what HDMI 2.0 bandwidth is. All right, guys. So here I have my HDMI 2.0 cable. It's HDMI 2.0 because it came with my Xbox. A lot of you guys will not have an Xbox though. I mean, maybe you will, but you might just need to buy a completely new HDMI cable. So I will link a couple good HDMI 2.0 cables down below, as well as if you have a 30 series laptop and you're trying to run HDMI 2.1, I will link an HDMI 2.1 cable as well. Alrighty guys, and now from here, it's just super, super simple. Plug it into an HDMI 2.0 port on your monitor. You guys should be able to see is the case for me. And once that happens, just go ahead and plug your HDMI cable or I guess your display cable into the port on your laptop. And open your laptop up, turn it on. Your monitor should start scanning for a signal. There's no HDMI 2 signal from my device because I'm not booted in yet. But it should be as simple as sometimes maybe you have to switch the display mode. As you can see here, it just automatically detected it for us. If you do need to switch to display mode, it's going to be different for every monitor, but it should just be right here and you can go to input source and select your input. If I go up to display port, it'll bring up what my PC sees. Let me go back down to HDMI. It'll bring up what my laptop sees. All right. Now, once you're here, it's just a matter of stuff inside the system. Alrighty, guys, once you are in your desktop, there are a few more steps you're going to want to take. You guys are going to want to update your graphics card drivers as that's just good practice, especially for a gaming computer. So we're going to go to drivers. I'm going to download them. All right. So with them downloading, I'll show you guys what it's like after they're done in Installing, but for right now, I'm just going to move on with the rest of the step. First thing you guys are going to want to do, there's two ways you can do it really. First way I'm going to show you is through Windows settings. The second way is through the NVIDIA control panel. It'll be slightly different for AMD or Intel. I'm going to show you through Windows settings first since that'll be universal through all of them. So just obviously go to Windows, click settings, go to si system, display, whatever, whatever. If you guys want to use your laptop as like a second display, go ahead and click on extend these displays. And now instead of seeing the same thing on your monitor and on your laptop, you should see different things. Once your monitors are extended, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go here and make sure your monitor is running at the fresh rate on the box. It's a 240 hertz monitor. You're going to want to make sure it's running at 240 and not 60. That's a common issue a lot of people have. And then if you're going to put your laptop on the left, you're going to want display one to be on the left. If it's going to be on the right, you're going to want display one to be on the right. And if you need to move it around, just click on apply. And then I want to drag my lap, my settings window onto my laptop screen. So if I want to do that, since my laptop screen is to the right, if I drag it to the right, it will end up on my laptop screen. If I drag it to the left, it'll be on my main monitor now. All right. And if you're going to be gaming on your external monitor as your main display and you want everything to come up there as your main display, go ahead, go back to system, go to display, stay in display, select your external monitor and click down here on make this my main display and then you'll see here that your windows bar search bar comes up in the bottom right over here and that's whenever you open an app such as epic games launcher should open up on my big monitor on my external monitor which as you can see here it does if it opened up on my laptop window you wouldn't be able to see it because you guys can't see my obs which is on my laptop window so if everything feels big to you go ahead go back to settings go back to display once you're in display go ahead click on your external monitor and you can see if everything feels a little bit big I'm already at 100%, which is the smallest. But if everything feels small, you can go up to 125. It'll make everything look a little bit bigger. But I'd recommend staying at 100 or whatever the recommended is, uh, just because it'll optimize it for the size of your screen and 
your screen layout. Now our drivers are done downloading, so go ahead, click custom installation, and I'm gonna quit the recording on my laptop really quick, and I'll be back with you guys when I'm done installing. Alrighty guys, I had to end the recording on my laptop because when you are installing your graphics driver, your monitor should disconnect, so that will end up corrupting my recording, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. That's why I'm recording on my phone. When you get here, go ahead, click on perform a clean installation, and we'll uninstall previous graphics drivers, making your computer run better. Then go and click on install. As you can see, it's uninstalling your graphics driver, and it will install the new one, and I'll be back on screen recording with you guys once this is done. And in certain instances, such as this one, your computer will have to restart, so if it does have to do that, go ahead, click restart now, and it will restart for you. We just have started. As you can see, there is no HDMI 2 signal to my monitor because we are currently at the stage where my monitors aren't being connected because we're updating that part of the graphics driver. I did almost forget to mention if your monitor does look super, super wonky, you guys are gonna wanna go and make sure it's at the resolution your monitor is advertised as, which me is already there, it's 1080p. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and go to the NVIDIA control panel and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this through the NVIDIA control panel. Man, I wish they made a dark mode. What you guys should see now that you have your monitor plugged in is you should see this display section if you have a g-sync laptop it was probably already there you're going to see this display section whereas if you didn't have your monitor plugged in you would not see these two sections you'd only see 3d settings but what you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and click on change resolution make sure that it's on the pc resolution of what your monitor is advertised as which mine's 1080p 240 hertz so we're looking good but you can always change it here if you need to and you don't want to do it in windows settings another thing i'd recommend doing is going here and making your digital vibrance slightly higher because a lot of times most monitors are calibrated to run at roughly 60 to 65 percent on dell's website i think dell says this is calibrated at 65 percent digital vibrance just go ahead click on apply click yes and that should get our colors to where they should be at everything should look oh just a little bit better Alrighty, guys so the last step of today's video is actually not a step i'm going to be able to show you guys because it's going to be completely personal preference but you want to fill out your setup you're going to be using this monitor as a main monitor and you're going to have your laptop sitting off to the side you're obviously going to want to get a keyboard and an external mouse if you're going to be using your laptop below your monitor it's not that big of a deal you'll probably still want a mouse though fill out your setup with things that make it comfortable for you so set your laptop on whatever side you want and use that tip I told you earlier about moving the displays around in settings. So set your laptop on whatever side you want. Get get a nice monitor, get a nice keyboard, a nice mouse, and just fill out your setup. Without further ado, guys, that should be pretty much it for how to connect your monitor to your laptop. If I missed anything or if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you guys. And remember, if you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining in any way, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel as we're trying to hit 3K. Without further ado, guys, I'll see y'all next time.